you're experiencing pain in a relatively small area on your body, whether it's a, an injury, such as an abrasion, a small laceration, a muscle bruise, or if you have a chronic, acute, or subacute sprain and strain injury involving a ligament or a tendon in one of your joints, then I'm gonna show you how to accelerate the healing of that injury slash pain and minimize your downtime. It involves using this 60 LED red light therapy pad. I've been battling epicondylitis. Yes, the pain and injury doctor does get pain and gets injured. You know, I'm, I'm human and as we age, our tissues lose some of that youthfulness and uh, they can't handle loads as well and then experience these aches and pains. So I try to knock these down as soon as they happen. And this is one of the ways I do it. An example would be, let's say your wrist, your carpal tunnel, you sprained your wrist, some knuckle pain, joint pain, right? In my case, the epicondyles of my elbow. You could try it on your knee. I've got another product that's for your knee that's better. You could put this around your ankle. You've got a cut on your muscle, anywhere in your muscles. It's a comparatively small wrap compared to others that are available. So it's ideally suited for small areas, maybe about that big. Okay, besides the LED wrap, the product includes a, a small elastic band, which comes in really handy. It holds it in place. It's got this controller where you can turn it on and off. You can choose the wavelengths, either 660 or the 850 or all three. Normally you just choose all three and you can actually change the frequency of the light. The controller attaches to the pad. It's got a USB end that can go into a standard USB plug. You plug it into the wall and you can also use a power bank like this one. Plug it in and now you're portable. So you could stick this in your pocket, wear that on your elbow and just go about your daily business. So I've got the overhead view so we could see how this thing works. Again, we've got the elastic band. Use it to secure the LED wrap on the area that you're treating, the 60 LED wrap itself. We've got a power pack. We've got the controller. One end goes into the LED wrap. The other end is a standard USB, a standard USB plug, or it could go into the, the power pack like that. Take your pad. Put the pin into it, take the USB end, and turn it on. When you attach it to the power bank or plug it into the wall, you'll see the display on the controller say off. Press the bottom button once, and you'll see all the LEDs come on. What does it all mean? It means the 660 and 850 nanometer chipsets. So you've got some red and infrared going on right now. All right. And the next thing you want to do is press the intensity level. So that's the upper button here. So that's level one, level two, level three, level four. Obviously level five will give you the most uh, irradiance. Now when it's on all, if you press the power button again, you could change the frequency. So that, it looks like, hang on a second. Yeah, it's all, but 10, it looks like H2, but that is supposed to mean hertz, 10 hertz. So 10 flashes per second. If you press it, then it alternates between all and the frequency. Again, you get 40, it's hard to see, but it's blinking, it's pulsating at 40. Uh, pulses per second right there. Let's see it again. Press it again and it's this level called H and I just like to call this sinusoidal. All right, you'll see it ramp up and ramp down kind of like Christmas lights. And if you press it again, it turns it off. So let's just press it all, just all and constant. Yeah, all is constant, it's not pulsating. And then this button here will set the time. So I think the maximum is 30 minutes. And what I like to do, what I like to do is press this power button just to make sure, because sometimes when you change, make changes here, it changes the intensity level. If you, if you want 
uh, the highest intensity. Just go ahead and press that last, okay? All right. So if you press this button right here, you could change it to either, let's say you didn't want the heat and you just wanted the photobiomodulation, the red. Uh, it goes back to the time again there. Let's see if it comes back to the frequency. It does not. So if we press that a second time, then it's the infrared. Now remember, the infrared is invisible, so you won't be able to see any red there. All right, but it's emitting heat. It's basically radiant heat, and it goes a little deeper into your body. So press it again, then you bring it into the 660. All right, so that's 660 and 850. And again, like I said, whenever I mess with the, or change any of these other settings, like the frequency, I like to go back to the intensity and put it to whatever level I want. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to apply this to, let's say, an elbow. I actually, like I said, am battling some epicondylitis, so I'm gonna leave it on after I put it on. What I find works pretty well is you take the band, Stick it like this, and depending on how big your arm is, go ahead and pre-make it like this, so it looks like that. Then I'm going to stick my arm through it, make sure it's right over the area. I turn on my power bank, press the button, Put it up to level five, and I'm going to do 25 minutes at, and I'm gonna do all LEDs, and I chose 10 hertz, all right? And that's it. So if you're gonna walk around the house with this on, just roll it up like this, otherwise you'll snag it on things like doorknobs. So I'll just go ahead and stick this in my pocket like this and I could work freely. To get more information and or if you're interested in getting one for yourself, just click the button in the upper right corner of your screen then look below the video and it'll have a link where you could visit and see the specifications of it. And while you're there, you could check out some other things on my site, Advanced Physiotherapeutics. If you know someone who has an injury that they're battling, please forward this to them. It's all about sharing the information and you know, helping one another. Well, one last thing, please consider joining me on my social media. My profiles are below in the link as well. Thanks again and see you soon.